Yo, what up, YouTube? Welcome to Hawker Toy Network. My name is Southeast Center, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to improve y'all melodies using FL Studio. So I'm not even going to, you know, talk y'all heads off. I'm going to cut straight to the chase. So make sure y'all have, like, a VST open that has a piano. So in this case, I'm going to be using Nexus. Uh, their grand piano. I, like, I love their grand piano, actually. I love their grand piano. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into the piano roll. Duh. <laughs> we're using the piano. Uh, then you want to just go to the drop down menu right here. Now, all right, let me, yours, your screen may look like this. So let me make my screen look like your screen. And so you're going to hit this drop down menu right here. And, um, you're going to go to view. Then you're going to go to scale highlightings. If I can find it. And then you're going to go to G Phrygian. Now G Phrygian is a scale that I did for the Lil Uzi Vert, uh, scale video that I did. A couple days ago if you guys want to check that out that'll be in the description below once you have that selected now we can start making our insane sounding melody so the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to select anywhere it doesn't have to be any specific note we're just going to select anywhere just to see how it sounds okay we're not gonna okay we're not gonna go that low all right uh let's see that's kind of high all right that's cool that's cool so so I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. So if I wanna dun 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 dun, I just, I just, I, hey y'all see it here? I just randomly tapped anywhere. Oh. So now these four bar loops or these four note loops, whatever you want to call it, that's the simple way of making a melody. Some people would say, all right, now I have a melody. Now I can throw my drums on top of it. No, do not stop there. Do not stop there. You do not stop there. So what you're going to do is you're going to double up and we're going to make chords. That's what it's called when we double up on notes, just making a chord. So... So you got that, mm. so like now it adds variation to our notes and we're gonna do that to the rest of them. And the only reason why I'm not adding chords to notes like right here and right here is because I just want the dun, 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 dun. So I want, I want that type of pattern. What was I just doing? Basically, when you're playing around with melodies, all you want to do, it's literally, I wouldn't say a guessing game because I'm not even using music theory right here. I'm just sliding notes around, seeing how it sounds. So the most important thing though, the most important thing while you're doing all of this is to make sure that you're in key with the scale. So if I go right here, that doesn't sound right. Like it, it throws it off. So make sure you're putting your notes in the places where the highlights belong. I mean, where the highlights are located, not in the shadowy parts. So now that we have that of our melody, now that we have this chord, this chord progression, whatever you want to call it, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to. So it's going to be two bars long for each one. So yeah, and what I'm doing right here, I'm just making another pattern on top of a pattern. So that's all it is with making a melody. It's all about patternizations 
and constructing those patterns to sound nice so that it doesn't really sound forced. Like, okay, the listener doesn't think, wow, I just went from this pattern to this pattern. No, the listener is like, okay, this is an awesome song, awesome beat. So that's what it, that's the, you know, that's the vibes that it needs to provide. Before I move on, I want to say right here, I'm not going to be in the same range of notes that I am with this one. So I'm kind of going to take it to a next level as you see with the chord progression at the bottom right here. So you see how it goes from up, down, and then back up. So that's what the notes up here need to do. They're going to go down, they're going to go up, and then they're, they're going to go down again, kind of, and then back up. So let's do it. Oh my god so i like how i ended that so basically that is called when you don't really want to do anything extra at the end you just take this and you duplicate it over again and that repetition you don't want to have redundancy throughout your melody throughout the entirety of the melody because it decreases the value and it decreases the uniqueness of the melody so that's why you have to only do it like at a certain moment within the melody. It's only, you can only probably do it once or twice if, if you're lucky. Most importantly with your melodies, you guys need to EQ the low frequencies out of your melodies. I cannot stress how many times I hear people's beats and it's like, gosh, the melody is in competition with the 808. That's how bad it is. So what we're gonna do to solve that is click this drop down menu. Well, first go in your mixer, and then go right here and then fruity parametric eq2 should be like somewhere in the filter uh category once you click that you're gonna get that uh you know that pop up and then this is gonna be here now what we're gonna do is hit this drop down go to presets you're gonna want to go to 20 hertz plus 18 kilohertz cut so what that does is drowns out all the low frequencies so if we wanted to, let's say, add an 808 to this, it wouldn't interfere with that. The 808 would hit clean, it would sound nice, and everything would be, you know, non-chaotic. Now what we can do is go to gross beat now, and we can just play around with the melody even more. Um, let's see. Boom, now that you have gross beat open, uh, go here, go to momentary, and half speed. So that's everything for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hope to see you guys again in the next video. I'm out.